What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. I know, it's been so long. It's just my computer, my old PC just hasn't been working the best. But I got a brand new PC, so I should be able to do a proper Ark series. And I want to do a proper, complete survival series. For where we, I want to get to a point where I can like fight the boss on Ark, you know? So yeah, if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like. It would really help out a ton. And let me know if you want me to do more ARC videos in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. And as you can tell, we are on the Lost Island map. This is growing on me to becoming one of my favorite maps out there because it's just a gorgeous map. I heard the Fyodor DLC is coming out soon, and I'll play that at some point, but... Ooh, those are beautiful-looking Paleo tracks. Oh, speaking of which, this is Paleo Arc, where we've got these variants of certain creatures, like this Paleo Trike right here. This one's a nice color. This one's a level 55. That's a beautiful one. I love that blue with the white head. Levels this one? Level 55 as well. Yeah, we got these Paleo variants. We got trikes, raptors, dillos, therizinosaurs, T-rexes, spinos, and tentros, stegos, and there's going to be more in the future. Hopefully, maybe a Paleo bronto in the future. Look at this bronto. 95. I don't think I want to put my base here because of this guy. He'll just stomp all over it. So what I'm going to do is put my base over by this river here. That's what I'm going to do. Right here should be good. Alright, first things first, before we do anything, let's go ahead and get ourselves a pick. Already level 6. Oh, and also we have Incan stuff. Incan structures, because this is more of an Incan survival series. We're like a, a warrior, a jungle warrior, and we're... Basically trying to tame the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> I know I just made a Pokemon reference there, but... Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, learn some of this stuff. I also have the S Plus mod so we can build S Plus variants of these structures. Wait. There is absolutely no point in doing that because I've got the Incan mod. But I've still got the S Plus Mortar and Pestle and Smithy and all that. But yeah... First things first, let's build the crafting station, or the crafting table. We just need 200 stone by getting ourselves a hatchet so we can gather stone at a much faster rate. And we'll build a campfire for when we're ready to cook some meat. Well, let's not worry about, um, about the spears just yet. Let's build ourselves a house. A humble abode, a place to stay. Let's build this over here. And then we can put some stuff away. So we can try and build a, um... Build a house. Let's drop the skins, because we don't need them. I just like dropping the skins. Okay, so... What do we need for the, um, for the little warrior hut? Okay. We need 250 fiber, 350 stone, and 25 wood. Let's get the wood first. Let's craft that, and we can craft the hut. Let's go. And we can craft a door to go with it. Let's put our house right over here. Oh, we're inside. There we go. Alright, what do we need for a bed? Let's get... We just need a bunch of wood. These are some cool structures. This is the Eco Incan mod, where it adds, like, Incan structures. Let's put some more weight. Onto you, and I just realized. Oh, it's right here. 
Let's put the bed. I want to feel like an emperor, like Cusco. Alright, we got the bed, so now if we die, we can respawn at the bed. Nice. Seagull? I can hear you. Get away. Alright, so what do we need for a storage bin? Yeah, I'm gonna put the fire inside of the base, so it doesn't get destroyed by, like, a raptor or something. I'm gonna put the campfire right over here, and I'm gonna put the storage right over here. So now we can store things. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can learn some stuff. Okay, let's, uh... Let's learn the, um... Mortar and Pestle. The S-plus variant. Awesome Spyglass. The S-plus Standing Torch. No point in learning the bed, because we've already got the bed. Bola. And we're gonna try to keep this as primitive as possible, because we are a jungle tribe. So, yeah. Jungles are very primitive. We're gonna try to keep it primitive, and... You know, go from there. Alright, so what else can we do? Can we make Trank Arrows yet? Okay, we can't learn that stuff just yet. So, let's um get some clothes and some spears. Alright, let's make three of those. And let's at least get some clothes going. Um, let me just... Uh, it's a very sensitive mouse, so... Alright, the bow's gonna take a little bit longer. We've leveled up a little bit. Ooh, we got another level. Let's go into some stamina, so that way there we can, uh, outrun stuff a little more. And learn the Trank Arrows, since we're high enough level to learn those. Alright, so, um... Let's put some wood in the fire. And then when we get some meat going, we can cook it up. Just gonna put that away for right now. Put this in here. Oh, we should probably make some arrows. Yeah, I've completely forgot about that. All right, we got some fiber, we got some flint, and we're gonna make as many as we can. As many stone arrows as we can. We got some thatch, and we can make 34. Not bad for right now. Let's get these arrows crafted up, and then we'll go hunt something. Okay, all the arrows are crafted up. Let's go hunt some creatures. Maybe like a, uh... Oh, look. You're all the way over here. Nice. I just want to take a good look at you. Wow. What a beautiful... The Paleo Arc Triceratops is a beautiful creature. And I'm sure there will be more on the way, you know? Like, more creatures as we explore along. Okay, let's hunt a dodo. Like, um, something that drops hide and meat, you know, the essentials, so that way there, we can, um, cook some meat, so we don't have to keep relying on berries, and we can make some stuff that requires hide, like the mortar and pestle, and the, um, and something else. The bolas, the bolas. You are a beautiful looking trike, I might tame you at some point. Oh, what up, Tapahara? I thought I saw something flying in the jungle. Well, Parasaur. You're too fast, though. If I could find, like, a Dodo... A Listro, will do. Um, for my first spear broke. Sixty-nine hide, lol, that's funny. Oh, th I hear a Dodo. Oh, but it's a party Dodo. There is a normal Dodo here. And there's also a party dodo. These party dodos don't drop meat or hide. They drop cakes because it's like the anniversary event that's going on. So, yeah. Where's the, uh, where did the normal dodo go? There you are. Let's get some more hide. And then we're going to put some meat in here. Light that up. Cook that up. And for the rest of the meat, we're just going to split. So then we'll have spoiled meat. Okay. Alright, so let's put the boots on and the gloves on. And now we're fully set with armor. We're no longer naked. Nice. Okay, so we'll cook up that meat. 
and then maybe we should just go ahead and make some uh, bolas. What do we need for bolas? We can make four. What will we be short on? It looks like we'll be short on fiber, so I'm just going to quickly grab some more fiber. And we'll craft with one more. Alright, we've got ourselves some, uh, some bolas. And let's see, do we have enough to make a mortar and pestle? Preferably an S plus mortar and pestle? We need a bit more stone, which isn't an issue. Okay, let's get the, um, mortar and pestle going. Alright, we got that, we'll put some narco berries in here. Take some of the narco berries we got out of here and put them in here. So, so far we've got 30 narco berries. Maybe get a little more. Do we have any more in here? We do, nice. All right, while we wait for the meat to spoil, let's go hunt something else. Maybe that turtle over there? Let's see what level it is so we can get some more hide and maybe some more meat. You are a max level. All right, I'll leave you alone. Yeah, 150 is the max level on this map, so... Yeah, there's that. Yep, there's my location on there. Okay. We're gonna have to do some exploring at some point. Maybe if we find a moss chops that requires mejo berries or tinto berries, then that might be good for us. We got some dodos. That's fine. Oh, there's one right here. 140. I kind of want to tame you. Anything dangerous around? Apart from that seagull, looks pretty peaceful. And whatever the hell that was, I'm just going to run. Hopefully that wasn't a raptor. Otherwise, I'd be boned if it was. Careful though, raptors do spawn around here. Maybe if we could find like a moss chops to tame or something, that'd be fine. You know, something that we can ride right away without having to craft a saddle and, you know, something that isn't too hard. This is just while we wait for the meat to spoil. We also have the Ark Additions mod on here that adds the Brachiosaurus and the, um... Acrocanthosaurus, so we should be seeing those spawning sometime in the future. But right now, let's look for a um, possible moss chops to tame. Oh, there is a moss. Oh, that's a Listro. And I think those are Paleo Dillos. That one with the blue frill looks very beautiful. Alright, let's just leave them alone. And, uh,. Let's see if we could find a, um, a moss chops or something. How much time do we have left? Two and a half minutes, okay. I know I'm wandering very far from base, but I'm just trying to find something to take. There's some Zephactinus right there. We want to tame that at some point. All right, I'll head a little bit further down, and if I can't find anything, then I'll head back. Will it give me an option to feed it? There is a Pego in the area. Screw you, Pego. Run, run, just run. Okay, these Dillos, how am I supposed to get past them? I mean, at least they're slow, so... I should be able to outrun them, but... I think that's a normal Dillo, and these are Paleo Dillos. At least that one is, anyway. Oh yeah, and there's like a size variation mod. I think that one's smaller than that one. There is a size variation mod on here, which makes some creatures bigger than others. Like, some creatures of the same species, like, there could be a T-Rex that's, like, half the size of a normal T-Rex on here. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know, because that's a pretty fun and interesting mod. Oh, and there's also the shiny creatures mod that, like, spawns in shiny creatures. And we are back at base. So... Let's go ahead and make some more, um, let's go ahead and make some narcotics so that we can make some trank arrows. Oh, let me in. Let me in. Oh my 
God. Stop kicking me out of my house. Thank you. There we go. I can only make 17 of that. Which means... We need more narco berries. Alright, we've got some meat now, so... Let's get some levels while we, uh... I'll just kick my external hard drive. Alright, let's just, uh... Get some more narco berries. Another 14. That means we're gonna run out of narco berries again. I just want enough narco berries. I want enough trank arrows to be able to knock out a trike. Alright, let's go ahead and put some of this away. I think I want to work my way to taming one of those paleo trikes. Especially that blue one. There's like a 135 somewhere further down, but I just want... Something that's, like, nice for now. Like, tame at least one creature this episode. Alright, I just crafted up 35 arrows, and we're ready to tame something. That orange trike looks nice, with the, with the um, cyan head. But I like the other one. This, this blue one right here. I really like this blue one. Maybe if there's a way I can climb up this rock... Oh, hello, monkey. Are you a paleo monkey, or just a normal monkey? I could tame you, maybe? And maybe have you as like a shoulder pet? I've never tamed one of these before. <laughs> we actually got a monkey! Nice! Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There we go. Let me just put these berries on you, so then you don't... Alright, so we can go ahead and... That's probably the first monkey I've ever tamed. So yeah, we've got ourselves a little monkey companion. I'll name him later. Or her, whatever the gender is. Anyway, let's focus on this trike. And let me up the gamma. I said let me up the gamma, because it's getting dark in here. I'm going to whistle passive, so you don't attack this trike by accident. That completely missed. That got him, alright. Let's, uh... Maybe if we can... Oh, there the other trike's there. Yo, if, if you could become stuck... If you could get stuck on something, that would be amazing. Get, get stuck between this tree and this rock. Of course, you're smart. Are you... Wait, are you smart? I don't even think I can get through. Perfect. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Make sure his friend isn't coming for me. And down he goes. Nice. Make sure his friend isn't coming for me. Okay, good. His friend isn't coming for me. Her friend. Um, let's put the berries in your inventory. And then wait for this guy to tame. And while we wait, we might as well make a saddle. Let's get a trike saddle going. Some fiber, hide, and wood. We need hide. Which is way back at the base. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to tame. I'm gonna walk him back home. And then I'm gonna throw on a saddle. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys later when he's fully tamed. And that's the trike tamed. Awesome. Let me get this tree out of the way so I can... Sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. And we're back at base with our newly tamed trike, which I am going to quickly name Sarah, because that's a Land Before Time reference. Look at that beautiful trike with the blue, the black stripes, or is it brown stripes? I'm not sure. And the white head. That looks gorgeous. Get you some weight, and then we'll go and get you a, um, a saddle, wherever the hide is. Okay, we need a bit more hide, and we need some fiber. Alright, so we need a bit more hide before we can go out and adventure. Let me go ahead and name this new monkey real quick. Which I'm gonna name... Dexter. You can be Dexter. Alright, you can be on my back. Alright, let's go get some more hide. 
There's got to be like a dodo, like a normal dodo, not a um a party dodo. A normal dodo around here somewhere that we could kill. Let's go into the jungle for a little bit. We won't go too far into the jungle because I don't want to get eaten by raptors, but... Oh, God. Of course there's a seagull after me now. Come on, I need some hide so I can make the trike saddle. Well, there's some dillos. If I could bring this dillo away from his friend, that would be amazing. Yep, you're still chasing me. Awesome. Well, you were chasing me. Oh, you are. Oh, God. Um... Your friend is still nearby. Jesus Christ! That scared the crap out of me! Thank you, monkey, for doing some damage to me. Oh, he's throwing poop at him. Are you throwing poop at the Dilla? And of course, his friend's coming. Wait, lure them to the trike. The trike will be able to fight him. Thank you for helping, Dexter. Alright, come on, Dexter. We got this. This one's a little bit stronger. A beautiful color. I love the red and black crest. There we go. Beautiful color. Alright, we should have the hide we need to make the trike saddle. Alright, we can now ride on the back of our triceratops. Let's gather some berries at a much more efficient rate. Let's uh, go up and wait. So that way there. We did a lot today. We tamed a Triceratops, a Paleo Triceratops, and a beautiful looking one at that. And we tamed this here monkey, which we named Dexter. You did well, Dexter. Thank you for helping me with that Dillo. That's really appreciated. And we got a bunch of Narco Berries set for days. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. So long!